Now here in the UK, dangerous and illegal muscle building supplements are being sold to gym goers across the country, according to a BBC investigation. Well, the products that are popular on social media aren't approved for sale, but the BBC has found them widely available in shops and online. Experts are warning they could cause serious side effects. You don't understand how many people are on these things, man. It's crazy. For gym goers searching for quick gains, substances like these are the latest thing. They are selective androgen receptor modulators, commonly known as SAMs, and are available for purchase alongside other similar muscle building drugs. In a quarter of a mile, turn right. But none of these are approved for human consumption anywhere in the UK, and it's a criminal offence to sell them as such. Despite that, I was able to buy them in shops around the country. So somebody mentioned Psalms to you. Yeah. Psalms are brilliant. Big stores won't sell them. Small independent store like me, we can sell them because we can sell them. Get away with it. We're not, yeah. we're not, we're not on the radar, so to speak. So I've been training for around six months now, right. but I'm just, nothing's happening. <laughs> kind of thing. Have you heard of Psalms? They've been researching these. One, because they've got zero side effects. Yeah. There you what you want. Yeah, oh, yeah. well popular. 45 quid. One That's in the morning, sweet. one at yeah. night. Some of the shops did mention there are side effects, but all of them promised me quick results. It even says here on one bottle that is for research purposes only, but goes on to claim it's a potent muscle builder. Now, none of them list any health risks, but medical experts warn these drugs are dangerous with potentially serious long-term side effects. Reese was 20 when he took unapproved muscle building pills marketed as Psalms to help with his weight training. About, I'd say two weeks in, that's when I started to feel the side effects, so it was pretty quick. The erectile dysfunction, the hot sweats. I'd go to the gym, I'd feel strong, but it wasn't like max potential because my sleep wasn't quite there. I'd say I was getting like four hours of quality sleep. The Royal Pharmaceutical Society warns against using SAMs and says urgent action needs to be taken by regulators to control the market. What we would like to see is the laws around them tightened. We would like to see better control over them and an acknowledgement that they are not being used for research purposes when they're being purchased. The Food Standards Agency and Food Standards Scotland, in response to our investigation, said SARMs and similar drugs are not authorised for sale in the UK and should not be taken. They also said consumers should report businesses selling these substances to them or their local authority. We asked the shops we visited for a response. Not all came back to us, those that did express confusion about the regulations. One told us they have now stopped selling all Psalms and are seeking guidance from the Food Standards Agency. After his experience, Reese now thinks there are safer ways to get results at the gym. They're not research enough. You don't know the negative effects. There's a lot of ways to do it naturally, so like in increasing your knowledge on your training, your nutrition, getting your nutrition a lot better. Um, I wouldn't recommend Psalms to anyone, and those that are currently taking Psalms now, I would say stop. The latest there on that BBC investigation into those muscle building drugs available in many places across the UK.